April 1st, 2022. How's it going, guys? Got another video for you, so hold on just a second here. Look at that sun up there. Looking good. There was a lot of planes up earlier, though. Got my walk in a little bit today here. So what we're going to talk about real quick here is something I heard yesterday that really kind of got to me. Somebody asked, was asking for help about this energy and they were wondering why they had uh, two different either a watch or a clock and time was jumping. They also said that they were tired and uh, but they were staying positive. Now I know what causes this and I know what <laughs> So I want everybody else to know what causes this, too. See, there are people out there in groups, like I say, that pull people's energy. And that's what we're going to talk about. But if you have a high energy level, listen, a very high energy level, and we're not all the same. See, they want you to think you're every year all the same. They want you in their group so they can uh, feed off of you and your energy. But not all these energies are the same. So what happens if they attack you with their energy, which we'll call it biokinetic energy or chi energy, you have a time jump, basically. Now, the problem with this is there's several things I'd like to see how suspicious observer would even try to explain this because supposedly it's because if you have if you have a watch on you have a crystal in there and it causes it that to jump but the thing of it is about this it will jump it can jump either forwards or backwards by one hour now over the years i had some thoughts about this and I, you, you won't hear anybody else talk about this. But you're hearing me talk about this. Because this lady, she, that's what she said. She said that she, her clocks were changing at two different times. Separately. And uh, it kind of disappointed me. Why I hope, hopefully the person that was just l listening to this person just misunderstood but see, somebody, a lot of these people on these YouTube channels are just out for profit, too. So, I don't know. I'm not here for profit, but I am here to get the truth out. And, uh, like, you know, like old Paul Bigley says, everything, all, everything's going to come out. Everybody, no, there ain't going to be no lies. Everything's going to be told. Yeah, everything's going to be told, okay. More ways than one. So, first thing we're going to talk about, like I say, if you're in an area, say you go in to a room with a group of people that are messing with this energy, and say you're, say for example, they wouldn't, not all of them would actually have to even attack you. Now, this, this lady said that she was at her home, so I assume that she was being attacked with this energy, okay? and at her house and if she was feeling tired well that pretty much somebody was feeding off of her but the thing of it is this energy to jump like that that's not the same kind of energy that the ones are feeding off of it's a different kind of energy now <laughs> yeah it's a different kind of dna energy it's it's different completely so the thing of it is I mean, what she, like I say, what she was basically having happen, I mean, this other person did not explain anything about that. So, uh, I'm going to explain it, like I say, and there's a few things you can do to protect yourself. Like I say, selenite is the best thing because it will neutralize any kind of energy. They don't like the selenite. Selenite's good. Now, it's not a cure-all. Nothing's complete as a cure-all on anything. I'm going to show you four other stones. I'm going to show you a couple that's not even worth pretty, pretty much wasting your time on. 
And now I'm going to show you two other ones that you can use. But what I was going to get back to real quick is if you're in a group, if you go into, a, say, a room with a group of people that have this energy, you actually, if their energy is different than yours, you can actually have that time jump happen. Because basically what I figure is we're not compatible with them. It'd be like, just think of it like this, two different alien species. And then we don't, we don't match too good. Oh, they can, either one of the species can feed off one another. I mean, the, either one can fight with one another. But we're not the same. And, you know, their, their whole goal is to, to feed off anybody that's like that. But definitely, like I say, if, if they're having that with the time jump, they, they definitely have a high frequency energy level. And they don't know that they're being fed upon. So we're going to go into that here for a second. I'm going to get back over here and walk around one more time. And uh, we're going to talk about a few uh, protective crystal stones real quick here. So let's get over here. It looks like the wind's blowing my stones around a little bit here. Not good. All right. We'll do the Starseed Peregrine 101. Now, you hear, they'll tell everybody obsidian. Black obsidian's a good stone to use if you're being attacked. I don't know. It never worked for me. I, I had several. There's one little piece right there. No good. And uh, anybody got through it. Now, what you're looking at here is a crab fire agate. Now, this is a great stone to have. It's a good feeling stone. I'd re I would recommend this to anybody. They are kind of hard to find, too. But, definitely worth it. But the thing of it is, anybody that on the top of the end chain, it basically, whether, like I say, like a high priest or priestess in witchcraft or somebody else, it don't matter how, like I say, when it comes to frequency, they know how to manipulate it. This is not going to protect you either. Now, if they're just, uh, <laughs> we'll just say an amateur, this will deflect the energy off, definitely. Now, we're gonna go with the black tourmaline and the hematite. These two, if you, like I say, depending when you're being attacked, that's the two you want to use, guys. That is the two that you want to use. And you, you can alternate them. Figure out which one is best for you and if somebody, whoever's doing this to you. But like I said, I, like I said, I drew a little deal here. A little watch, a little clock. And if there's a time jump happening anywhere around you, it tells, it tells me two things. It tells me that you don't have the same energy as they do. And we're not talking about frequency. We're talking about a different energy, a different DNA. And they, in the, in the, in the evil ones, the bad ones out there, I'll give, guarantee you, they want to feed off of you. They don't, they want, they don't want you knowing all that. So definitely, like I say, the black tourmaline, the hematite, are two good, very good protective stones. Would re recommend them to anybody. Selenite crystal too. You can carry selenite on you all the time. And it's not going to affect anything. But, like I say, I, uh, when I used to go dance a lot. <laughs> oh, that's one other thing too. You want to hear something else. You know, some of these groups, they don't want people out there dancing. They don't want people doing that because it helps balance both sides of their brain. Well, if your both sides of your brain are balanced, guess what? You have stronger chi energy. You have stronger, guess what? Biokinetic energy. Yeah, guys. So, anyway, some of these groups, like I said, that I was around, I don't, as you notice, I don't have a watch on. I don't carry a watch anymore because <laughs> it didn't do much good because when it I got attacked, bottom line is it would change. But then you get in a whole nother deal about time and space. 
and I don't think this is just all about a glitch you know if you shock the watch or you shock the clock or whatever and uh, I believe it's more than that I believe it is actually affecting time itself definitely but anyway like I say the hematite I hope you guys are seeing this too because boy it is bright out here right now and I cannot I'm just aiming at this and I hope you guys are seeing this um, the hematite and the tourmaline are something to use and uh, that'll get you started but a house like that you know there there's one reason why the Japanese over there in their office buildings and in in living places and stuff like that there is a reason why they put the selenite in the walls I mean, do some research, guys, on this. That, it protects everything. It absorbs any energy if people's throwing it out at you. So, um, just a heads up. And, and the, to the person that, you know, said that they were trying to stay positive, positive but they were had felt tired for two weeks, well, the reason why they need to understand, they need to do a little research on all that. But they got some high-frequency energy. And there's a, they're special. They're different than all the rest. And there's only so many of us out there like that. Anyway, guys, and eyes open, and uh, have a good one out there.